Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Nina Tunariu and I'm a radiologist with interest in oncological imaging working at Royal Marsden Hospital in London. And I'm going to go through uh, the steps and how you can use Syngovia to assess response to therapy in a patient who has diffuse metastatic bone disease in, and we have evaluated this technique on a whole body MRI with diffusion weighted imaging. The images we have illustrated on the screen are the ADC maps, which are parameters of the quantitative um, apparent diffusion coefficient, which tells us how much cellularity there is in a lesion. So we have already drawn the uh, baseline study for this patient. We have chosen to draw a rather large region of interest through the pelvis. And that is the first follow-up, which was performed eight weeks after. And now just to illustrate you how we are now evaluating the latest study, which was performed after several months of treatment. So we are drawing a region of interest by using the VOI freehand tool. This can be obtained by selecting NPR sick in the selections. Then you click create VOI and here we are. We have now the histogram we wanted. We can choose where we want to do it. So just to illustrate here, it is the NPR thick, which allows you to do these assessments in sagittal, axial or coronal. This is the histograms and the histograms has thresholds which we have set up arbitrary based on our experience. And here we have set up that the normal bone has an ADC less than 650. And we have decided again, relatively arbitrary based on the experience that the cellular tumor is probably somewhere between 650 and 1100. So if we are going to back map the colors, the pixels with red are the pixels in which the tumor has a high cellularity. The pixels with green are the tumors, the pixels in which the tumor has an ADC above 1200. Let's see what's happening after the treatment. You may already have seen that the green pixels have increased in size. And now you can see that. And again, here we can see the same. So we have just very few dots in which the tumor remains with an ADC below 1200. That could help us to tailor the therapy at a further date. What it is important is that we can now be a little bit more confident that this patient indeed responds to therapy. And more importantly, you can take a screenshot and send them to your oncologist, perhaps helping them to understand what you are talking about.